Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and this is a math problem that uh, requires us to have a clear understanding of how factorization works and what factors can tell us about the relationship between um, two or more numbers that share those factors, that have those factors in common. So when you have a problem that um, either tells you right away what the factors of a number are or tells you that a number is divisible by another number, as in this problem where we're told, for example, that A is divisible by 2 and B is divisible by 7, what I like to do is simply not to forget uh, the information that's given to me is uh, draw it out in front of me as a quick factorization tree. So we know that one of the factors of A is 2 at the very least and something else. Um, and obviously 1 as well, but 1 is usually not written when we write these trees, so we're going to ignore that one. And B here is divisible by at least 7 and another number that's not 1. Um, and now we're asked which of the following must be divisible by 4. So like usual with this sort of problem, we're going to go ahead and consider the first uh, option, Roman numeral 1, and see whether or not uh, this one is a, produces a number that must be divisible by 14. So let's go ahead and try that. A and B would have as factors both A and B, right? And A has as factors at least 2, and B has as factors at least 7. So if we multiply the factors at the lowest level of each rung of this, or each level of this pyramid that we end up building, um, 2 and 7 we have here, uh, we have at the very least 14. So 14 is certainly a factor of AB. So this one works. Let's go ahead and try Roman numeral 2. So for Roman numeral 2, we would have 7a plus, whoops, plus 2b. So here we'd have as factors 7 and a, and we know that a has as factors at least 2. So we multiply the numbers at the lowest level of each of the, uh, of the levels of this pyramid, and we end up with 7 and 2, which is 14. So 7a ha is divisible by 14. And then 2b here, we would have... Um, where is this? Oh yeah, of course, 2 and B, and then B has 7 as a factor. So again, here we have 14. Um, so 2B itself would be divisible by 14. Now the question to ask here is whether adding 7A and 2B uh, produces a number that's still divisible by. And uh, this requires you to understand how multiplication works. So when you have 2 plus 2, I'm sure you remember from elementary school, what you have here is 2 added to itself 2 times. So you have 2 plus 2. When you have 2 times 3, you have 2 added to itself 3 times. You see? So what you're doing with multiplication is really addition, and multiplication is almost a shortcut for writing a very long addition um, string, I guess. So if you're adding numbers that share a common uh, factor, of course you're going to have that same factor. Because multiplication, the, the factor 2 here in both of these is what is being added. So 14 is a shared factor between both of these, and it will be a shared factor, sorry, will be a factor of the resulting answer to 7a plus 2b. So this one works as well. And we can go ahead and start crossing out answer choices. So A, B worked, uh, but 2 worked as well. So it can't be 1 only or 2 only. Uh, it could be 1 and 2 only. We haven't tried number 3. It cannot be 1 and 3 only since 2 worked, but it could be 1, 2, and 3. And let's go ahead and try Roman numeral 3 here. So Roman numeral 3 gives us 2A plus 7B. This one seems very similar to the second answer choice, so it looks promising, but let's see. We have 2a plus 7b, and what we see here is we end up with 2 times a, and a only has 2, and 7 has 7 and b, and b only has 7. So here a factor is 49, and here a factor is 4. So these don't share uh, 14 as a number that... Um, each is divisible by, and certainly if you add them, we're not sure if it will be divisible by 14. So the only ones that must be divisible by 14 seem to be 1 and 2. So we can go ahead and cross this last option out and settle that that is the answer. I hope that this helped. Um, writing out factorization trees for this sort of problem really makes it clear. Doing it in your head can get a little bit confusing. I hope that that helped with this problem, and happy prepping, everybody.